<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. It is, what day is it? Shoot, uh, let me see. Oh, it's the 22nd, um, about 2.21 a.m. And I should be sleeping, but I'm, but I'm here making one quick vlog for you guys. Um, I got in kind of a cool little piece of equipment for my 3D printer setup. And I kind of wanted to throw that out on a quick video here for you guys. Just to kind of, before I install it, just to kind of show you guys what it is. Um, this is a, I th think they're a, they're a fairly new product, fairly new company. And uh, the product is called, you can see that, it's called BuildTech. Um, now you guys have probably seen this product before. It's fairly new. They make um, different uh, size cuts for um, for uh, uh, your heat plates for your 3D printers, um, uh, rectangles, circles, squares, uh, scrape plates. Uh, they make um, most of your products that you need to, for a good adhesion for your 3D printers. Um, this one came from uh, Maplewood, New Jersey, uh, right here on the front. And this is part of my daily tech, which is right here. You can't read it? Well, too bad. Um, <laughs> that, uh, I got this, and uh, I'm going to break this thing open here um, and uh, kind of give you guys a peek here before I'm going to install it on another video on my next one. And I'm going to kind of give you guys an idea, show you guys uh, my setup here. Um, and uh, my computers and kind of show you uh, my uh, kind of how everything I'm working with and uh, um, my upcoming projects. Um, I do have a car coming soon so pretty excited to showcase that um, and uh, yeah so uh, let's get to it. Let's open this thing up and Hey guys, alright, so we open this up here, um, as you can see they uh, include this little paper here, just kind of gives you an idea of what to do. Um, heat resistant, is durable, um, easy to install, which it is, uh, but it's just trimmed to fit, pretty straightforward. Um, just make sure everything's pretty much clean and uh, uh, just adhesive. You can just stick it on to your uh, plate whether it's glass or aluminum or what have you and uh, um, they're pretty much good to go um, I know from these instructions it says you have to re-level everything so the nozzle is properly at the right height and uh, um, kind of smooth it out like with a credit card using if you like doing a window like if you're doing like tint on a window it'd be something like that um, but I guess it does say that you do not want to exceed 125 degrees Celsius print bed temperature, which is not to ruin it. Um, which it gives you a lot of tips in the back if you want to know about how to level this stuff. Anyway, um, but this product right here is the back feels really rubbery. 
kind of sticky a little bit. The bag is very smooth. I thought it'd be like sandpaper, but it's not like sandpaper at all, actually. It's uh, very smooth. Kind of feels like Formica, what you'd have on like a countertop almost, but thinner. Um, but you just take this and you trim it to size and you just peel and stick and smooth it out on your printer bed and you're good to go. And apparently this stuff supposedly gives you a hundred times better adhesion and quality for prints and so on and so forth. So we will see um, how this stuff turns out um, in the next couple days when I get this installed. Um, I'm gonna, tomorrow I'm going to be doing another video on uh, I'm going to be doing cleaning up all my wiring on my printer and just doing some soldering and I'm going to be installing this guy so that'll be pretty exciting um, but that'll be for the next vlog um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, this stuff was um, this particular piece was about I think ten dollars and shipping was I think I can't remember I think it was free or it was very very minimal it was cheap but if you go up and get round sizes or big sizes, it can get a little expensive. Um, I will include a link in the description below in the video. Um, so if you guys want to check it out, you can. Um, but you know, if this does turn out, I will recommend. You know, I will try to give a recommendation, and you guys can check the site out. I'll also include the site where I bought it, along with uh, you know products and so on that you can check those out. But this stuff looks pretty good. Looks pretty quality. Good quality. Um, but. Um, I will do that for my next video and uh, um, we'll see kind of how everything goes but uh, it's late and uh, there's too much to do so I will uh, see you guys on the next vlog take it easy peace